Hey guys, Dylan back with Feral Mount Media. Gonna do a little talk about some of the holsters that we run. And if you've been following the page, you've probably seen us running these style holsters on our belts. Uh, these are all from Safari Land. They're a little bit different styles, so we're gonna talk about them. This one currently is the Safari Land 6354DO. It's been around for a little bit um, now, and it's still a, a, a good favorite in the uh, gun industry. So this holster I have set up not only just for range days, but also for my active career in law enforcement. Uh, it's something that I trust. I want some retention. Um, and this being that it has that retention, so um, it allows for me to not lose my firearm is a good thing. Also, on range days, as far as us doing dynamic movements, which I'm sure that you've seen, is uh, getting prone out and then coming back up, running, etc. If we were running friction style holsters, you could possibly lose your firearm. But with the Safari Land, it also has uh, retention to protect you from losing it, but it also has a a hood, if you will, to protect your optic if you go down prone and smash it on a rock, etc. So, this being my number one choice, I know you're wondering why I'm holding it, but uh, I run the Safari Land fork system, which allows me to QD on and off to the belt if I go from the range or duty style belt rig to more of an admin style. I can switch it over to just a regular belt clip, um, it'll snap down in, so it's multi purpose. Uh, something that is cool about the Safari Lands, and I know that we all run something different, each one of us on Ferro Mountain, is uh, the mounting systems, being that I run the mid-ride, uh, this is the UBL, and the Safari Land fork system. It allows it to drop the firearm a little bit, uh, more, more or less my preference, um, as opposed to how Luke has his setup, and he is running the Safari Land 6390 RDS and on a True North Concepts MHA, excuse me. Um, so it allows him to set up the firearm a little bit different, gives him a little bit more options, more, more or less cant, uh, height, rod, etc. cetera. So uh, touching on the 6390 RDS, right away you can see a little bit of the difference in the aesthetics overall. Um, it adds a hood for your optics. So if you're in rainy or snowy environments, it keeps the moisture off of your lens for your optic. Uh, also adds is a little bit of a protection thing. Um, something that I do like about that is, or like about this holster rather, is the fact that if you have a lot of firearms in the same manufacturer, these holsters can adapt. So being that this is uh, Luke's primary firearm, Glock 45, Hollow Sun 509T and a TR LR H1, or 1HL, excuse me. You can run different style firearms, like this is a Glock 19 with an Acro P2. Locks in there, still gives you that retention. You can close the hood, protect the optic, etc. So it kind of gives you a little bit more variety to uh, to play around, and it's it's a uh, a very nice fit. So you can see too, as from going back and forth from the 6354 to now the 6390, is both of our holsters are wrapped in a material. This is the Cordura wrap, which you can order straight from Safari Land, um, or I know there's now companies that are doing it aftermarket so you can get a different camo pattern. They offer camo patterns from Safari Land, um, or if you want something special, you can get that, reach out and get that done aftermarket wise. So pretty cool. It adds a little bit of protection to the, uh, to the outside of the holster, not getting the I guess the, the Kydex all tore up, but, and it looks cool. Hey guys, just wanted to do a little tabletop for you at the end of this video, just so you can see the holsters up close. We have the 6354DO, the 6390RDS in comparison. A little bit of difference in aesthetics right off the bat, uh, just with, you know, the 6390RDS has the optics cover uh, to prevent from snow, rain, debris, lint, stuff like that from getting in on your optic. And uh, the 6354 does not. Um, they both do protect the optic with the, uh, the little hood that is made uh, for them. So that's kind of nice, you know, as opposed to running like a friction style holster where your optic's exposed, especially if you prone out, 
potentially break your optic depending on how you land, whatever, etc. Uh, so just a little bit of differences. Just wanted to give you guys a little up close look at both of these holsters and uh, kind of get a feel for them. Um, maybe if you're looking in the market for those. Um, currently, both of these have the Safari Land QLS fork on them, um, which doesn't come factory, but you can purchase them. Um, it's not necessarily a necessity, but it does kind of make life a little easier, especially if you have multiple different holsters um, to try So, and running different firearms. So the 6354 DO and the 6390 RDS, two holsters that we particularly run um, a lot and train with a lot, um, have been great holsters, hold up to the task, have had no issues with them, and they can fit a variety of different firearms. These holsters, uh, both of them are for the Glock 34 with the Surefire, and but they can fit, like I said, a different variety of firearms. So firearms that uh, are coming on screen now are, have been cleared. They are safe, uh, but just to kind of give you an example of them fitting in holsters and a nice solid lockup. So you can see them in action. Um, and I will also show you a different firearm that can be used in the same holster. So that was a Glock 34. Here's the Glock 19. Uh, it also has been safe. It is cleared. Um, but just to kind of give you an example, nice and uh, snug releases just fine. And in the 6390 RDS also fits just fine. So those are some uh, examples. So that way you can see that uh, these holsters, they do more than one job. And yeah, it's the, the holster that we trust and that we use and have been using for a very long time now. So uh, just a little, you know, quick video that we wanted to do for some of the holsters that we run. Um, check them out if you haven't, go to Safari Land and uh, you can even use our, our uh, discount code. It'll be listed down below. If you like the video, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you.